Hey everyone. So last time we were talking about the reaction of metals with cold water and steam. Today's video is about metals reacting with dilute acids. Remember dilute acids or acids in general are substances that dissociate in water to give H plus ions or you can say hydrogen ions. So let's imagine those same metals. And now let's imagine that we have dilute acid solution instead of cold water, obviously which will have hydrogen ions in it. Now if we pour these metals into the respective test tubes, we're going to observe bubbling again. But this time it's a little different. This time even aluminium, iron and even lead are going to give the bubbles. Copper still isn't giving any bubbling. So this time they are reacting in a better way. Sodium reacted with the dilute, let's suppose hydrochloric acid, to produce sodium chloride and hydrogen gas. Similarly, hydrogen is evolved from perhaps all the metals, in this case except for copper, which means copper did not give any reaction even with dilute acid, except for copper released hydrogen gas from reaction with dilute acids. Metal was initially pure in state, so it hadn't reacted, but then it did. Let's recall the idea that what's happening over here on a molecular level. Imagine you have water molecules and hydrogen ions on a very microscopic scale. The dilute acid means that water molecules weren't alone, it had hydrogen ions around it. So hydrogen ions are technically hydrogen atoms which have lost their electrons. They're also known as protons because they have a positive charge on them and no electron. The other thing that we have over here is water molecule. When we added a piece of metal, it had metallic bonding. For example, sodium, when we added a piece of it, sodium atoms were there with their electrons which were in the valence shell. So sodium metallic lattice was right over there, which had, you know, those metallic cations surrounded by a sea of electron. So I'm just showing the valence electrons. I'm not showing them moving. They are just around sodium atoms. Sodium loses these electrons and gives them to hydrogen ions. So sodium atoms are losing electrons and hydrogen ions are gaining those. As a result, the hydrogen ions lose their positive charge and they become simple hydrogen. If we write the equation, that would be sodium, which had a zero charge in the beginning, gave its electrons to the hydrogen ion. As a result, sodium got the positive one charge and hydrogen became zero. We can never write just H, so we have to balance this entire equation so that we can get H2. This H2 gas is gonna be coming out as bubbles of hydrogen gas from the entire solution. So you have hydrogen gas coming out of it. Over here, something is gaining electron, the other thing is losing those electrons. And what's happening can be determined by the metal reactivity series. Let's recall all the metals in the series. It started from potassium, sodium, lithium, calcium, magnesium, aluminium and then it goes on till copper and silver. We're going to memorize the whole series by the way. So when HCl reacted with potassium, H had a plus one charge, Cl had a minus one charge, potassium became a plus one itself and made potassium chloride. The H was eliminated, H was displayed and it resulted in the formation of hydrogen gas. Similarly, sodium did a similar thing. Sodium reacted with the HCl made Na plus Cl minus, which is sodium chloride and hydrogen gas. Lithium chloride, calcium chloride, and magnesium chloride could have been formed in a similar way. Each time the metal lost electrons and became a plus one or plus two charge, depending on the number of electrons lost. In case of aluminium, AlCl3 is formed because aluminium is a plus three charge and Cl is a minus one. We can balance this equation, which is a totally different phenomena. It is not related to the reactivity. So we can see that aluminium chloride has AlCl3, so we try to balance it. The other metals behave in a similar way. 
every time they react they lose electrons and make hydrogen gas so metals lose electrons they did not they had not lost electrons initially but they lost electrons after reacting with the acid so they displaced the hydrogen from the acids they took the place of hydrogen from the acid and all the metals higher in the series do this but the ones lower in the series do not displace hydrogen not even from dilute acids so they do not displace hydrogen they do not produce hydrogen gas from the acids they do not lose their electrons they do not give away their electrons so ones which are lower in the series do not give away their hydrogen do not give away their electrons and that is why we put hydrogen in the reactivity series now let's talk about the ionic equation sodium was higher in the series above hydrogen so it did react with dilute acids it did lose the electron and when sodium lost the electron what happened was it reacted so i've put the state symbols just for the safe side sodium initially had a zero charge and hcl had h with a plus and cl with a minus sodium became a plus one and reacted with the chloride and released hydrogen so it is actually a reaction between sodium and hydrogen ions to make sodium ions and hydrogen gas hydrogen gas has no charge on it so i'm writing a zero sodium was a solid in the beginning but then it became aqueous solution of sodium ions chloride ions did not take participation in the reaction so we can just cancel the chloride from both sides it is actually a reaction between sodium and hydrogen so we call it a single displacement reaction where sodium displaces the hydrogen ions sodium takes the position of the hydrogen ions the cl minus remains the same position because sodium was higher in the reactivity series it was above hydrogen if you look closely it is a redox reaction sodium changed from a zero charge to a plus 1 which is oxidation so sodium lost its electron while hydrogen changed from a plus 1 to a zero so hydrogen ions technically gained electrons that is called reduction when we talk about metals which are lower than hydrogen in the series like copper and when we make it react with dilute acids there's no reaction over there because even though copper has a zero charge and hydrogen is a plus 1 copper is not willing to lose its electron so copper does not lose electrons at least not in front of hydrogen ions because copper is lower than hydrogen in the reactivity series copper is lower than hydrogen so it does not react with h plus ions copper does not displace hydrogen from dilute acids because again copper is lower in the series so i hope this idea is clear to us that some metals are higher than hydrogen in the series and they do react in dilute acids some are lower than hydrogen so they do not react i hope you are going to keep remembering the idea in the next coming videos thank you guys